See, we was holding it as two time, but I think they took it as peace out. They didn't, they didn't know what we was talking about, so I'm pretty sure when we go back over there, they're going to feel some type of way. But we was just encouraging our team. What was your first wild moment? Mitchell Robinson today. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of young, talented guys. You know, these guys are, you know, are very talented. They're still young, they're still learning, but, you know, they're, they're having the most, like, when you pass on the team, but, you know, it's, it's on them to keep getting better and uh, you know, take the next step. You know, I think if they do that, their team will be better too. Do you feel like you have a target on your back because of who you are and them trying to establish themselves? I mean, uh, if I was them, I would, I would like to kick my ass. So, <laughs> I think so, yeah. Did you see that the NBA said you fouled them? Ah, uh, the, the, what, the last yeah. two minutes? Sorry. Uh, sorry. I think I went straight up, but you know when you look at the slow motion, it does look like a problem. But the officials don't have a slow motion real time. You know, it's a tough call to make. If you look at the play full speed, it doesn't look like a problem. You know, he also pulled me down with left arm, which is why I fell. So I think it was a good no call. But it's true that when you look at the, at the slow motion, you can see that. After I release the ball, I'm my own arm is If I'm not official, sure, I don't think I would have made that call. Do you know how the uh, the, cell, the the two finger cell that all the team your teammates were doing? How did that come together? Do you know how that happened? I think it just started. Uh, I mean, two weeks ago, someone said two times. I think it was Emmanuel, and uh, just just they started to do it more and more. And, all of a sudden, you know, the whole team did this. Uh, it was great. I mean, it really, uh, I mean, it really shows that you know our chemistry and you know guys are really taking pride in what we do. So it's great. Oh, so if you made the All Star team, what figure do you think the players would put up then? Uh, you gotta ask them. I don't know. That's the one. You still like that? Showed a great amount of. For what you do while they're doing that, and they yeah. understand really no, I mean, it really, it really made me feel good because I, you know, I feel like they appreciate the, the work that, that we do and that I do, and you know, and they, we just strive for that. You know, we strive to to be a good team, a great team, and you know, and be able to, to get the stuff at the end of the game like that and, and make winning plays. You know, everyone everyone gets excited. And I think we. We just want that to happen every night now. We want the same energy every night and we want that to win every night. You know, they you know, feel how, how hard it is to play last night, even though they lost by 30. Did you brace yourself for a physical game to see some of the fouls and some of the hard technical games? I mean, I, I brace myself every night. You know, it's, uh, I, I know it's hard for, to understand for the fans, like when you play a team that has a losing record, but these guys are NBA players. Everyone has something to, to prove. Everyone wants to, you know, to, to, to gain some minutes, to gain a new contract, to, you know, to show their worth, and um, want to play hard. And when, especially when you lose, you want to come out and play even harder. You, know, you, want, to, you want to play more physical. You want to you know, try to change the game a little bit. Because you know that it's going to be a physical game, and you know it's a. Uh, Speaking of the All-Star Game, we know last year you were disappointed to not make it. We just had the first round of fan voting come out. Is that, do you pay attention to that at all? I mean, I see it, obviously. I mean, I'm, I'm on Twitter, so I can see it, but I don't know. I'm just focused on winning. That's the most important thing. And if the fans doesn't re don't recognize what we do for our team, it's, it's fine. You know, at the end of the day, they are gonna, we're going to have a championship. You know, that's, that's all that's going to matter. 
Boy, and what's the key to just getting up for every game with the way you've been playing recently? Just make sure you come in sharp. I mean, just the joy that we that we have with each other to play, to play, to play together today. Tonight was the same kind of, of game. The first first quarter we kind of trade the baskets with the with them, and then from from second second quarter we started to play our our defense, our game, and uh, at the end was was kind of an easy game for us. As much as you guys were clicking offensively, do you feel like it was because it was close there for, for a while? Do you feel like it was the defense that that set well, the three three guys guys three guys three guys three. <laughs> <laughs> They were they were making fun of me last three days, but I, I I triple my numbers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean we are getting we are getting better both offensively and, uh, and offensively. Actually, we had a JC new guy, so he trying to trying to find find himself in in, in our in our system. So, but like you said, playing playing good basketball in the, in the games help to build that that chemistry. When you the ball is moving like that, how much energy does that give your team both ends of the floor, and how much rhythm does your team find? I mean, just playing, playing great defense gave us confidence and gave us opportunity to to run, and that's that's how we how we want to play. We had a lot of a lot of easy easy lanes to run, and then that would be a great job once again, rolling rolling for the basket. You and several of your teammates have had to play some really big minutes in really close games. How nice was it to? Have to play less than 30 minutes tonight and have the bench carry the load for a big stretch. It was great for all of us, especially to Donovan. He was he was kind of sick for last last, last two days. So, uh, <laughs> he was sick for last two days, so he didn't have uh, he didn't have energy. So it was great, for, like you mentioned, for all of us to to have a little bit a little bit of rest. We just played Charlotte a little while. So you probably have some kind of internal clock and know when it's about time for you to come out of the game. In the first half, when Quinn left you in for that long stretch, did you, you know what was happening? You know why it was happening? No, I didn't. I just approached, like I said, man, I approached this game like it was any other game. Um, my same routine, same rotation. I, you know, I was expecting, I think Don was going to come back in, but uh, he let me go in there and, and, and stay. You know, I really appreciate that. Sh that shows what type of guy he is. This year, you guys, seven straight wins. You've now won 12 of your last 13 games. What would you attribute this sort of stretch of success to? I think guys just coming together, playing together, and doing great. Um, everybody's kind of getting comfortable with each other. And defensively, we're, you know, we're locking in. I think during crunch time, we're, we're more focused than you know, the night before. And you know, everybody, everybody's making big, big plays when needed. Before the game, your coach said he has liked your commitment to grow as a player. In what ways have you seen your game evolve? Um, this is my IQ. Uh, you know, I thought I was a pretty okay, smart player until I came here. So when I came here, he took it to another level. And I'm committed. Like I said, everybody told me what type of coach uh, Coach uh, Quinn was when I came here. So, like I said, I bought in. And I'm just going to continue to try to get better and try to do what I can for my teammates. In addition to your scoring, we saw you make some nice point guard plays. Right? Do you feel like that element of your game is coming along? Yeah, uh, just knowing when to get your own and when to get everybody involved. I think that's that's what a point guard needs to do. Uh, you know, especially nowadays, you got a lot of you know scoring point guards, but at the same time, you can't forget the position you play. Is it hard at all to keep your foot on the gas when you got before the game? What can you say about his performance tonight? Well, I, I think he approached this as any game, and um, obviously, you know, he's aware. We're aware that you know, he was in. New York last year, but he didn't force himself on the game. He just he played he, he more than anybody. He played the right way. He made good decisions. He didn't hunt his shot. You know, he played defense. He just he played just, he played every part of the game. And sometimes in a situation like that, you can you know get focused on your game. And he didn't do that. He was focused on our game. It's a it's a credit to him, Bully you know, and his all of his preparation and the work that he's put in. You know, he's worked, he's worked, he's worked. And it hasn't always been an easy road. You know, he's, sometimes he's coming in the game for three minutes and coming out and that's what it is. And for him to be able to handle different rotations and different matchups, you know, that's, that's a guy that's really becoming a true pro.